everyone. playing as a controversial historical figure. <laughs> Welcome to uh, the... I call Alexander the Great! <laughs> Welcome to episode one of Daniel Green, what is the new campaign called? Uh, oopsie poopsie, we did a holocaust. No! <laughs> 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 All right, who's that one? Well, who's who's playing Hitler? No! I, I called Alexander the Great. I called Alexander the Great. No! I'm good. We can't have oops all dictators isekai D and D campaign. <laughs> I can't. I can't. No, okay, this is insane. If we ever all hang out at some point, though, I mean, <laughs> Wait, what do you one... mean? What are you, what are you <laughs> saying? What are you saying we're gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one I taking it. We're... <laughs> if we all hang out at some point, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> Someone's going to die, first of all. Oh, you know. Yeah. Oh, I do want to clarify, I mean that in the dictionary definition of just a general genocide, not a specific reference to any no. specific historical event. <laughs> I'm not a monster. Okay, right. Normally, when we say... Uh, crazy shit in a D and D episode. It's like at like hour twenty three, so that YouTube doesn't pick up on it, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. It flies on the radar. But when this gets uploaded to YouTube, the first ten seconds is Daniel Green saying, "Oops, time to do a genocide," and <laughs> we will <laughs> we immediately get demonetized, which is okay. No, no. What's funny is you just bleep the entire thing that I say, and that way no one knows. And you, you just keep bleep the entire. Episode. If you weren't here for the live recording, then you miss out. Simple yeah, as that. That's fair enough. All right then. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, well, 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 Tony, I have to lost. You how to do your God. fucking job, Daniel. <laughs> true, true. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to episode twenty-four. I mislabeled the stream as twenty-five for a second, but it's episode twenty-four of East Kai D and D, and I am tw I am actually twenty-four years old, so I'm not doing the taking joke. Um, it's me. I'm twenty-four. Happy birthday, oh. Rusty! It's not Happy my birthday. birthday. It's my birthday, June eighth. It's my birthday in June eighth, everyone. Just so you know, okay. stream. I, I ex <laughs> wiki right does write that down. <laughs> wiki <laughs> it write that down. For, for, when you load up either Isekai or One Piece DD wiki, the first thing on the front page should be Daniel Rossiger's birthday is June eighth. Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the background Never is the two towers. <laughs> no. <Yeah. we> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I am here with Briggs, otherwise known as Norman. Hi, I'm Norman. I'm here with old Tony Tekking. I do, and I lost uh, some of my uh, paladin cards, so I can only cast Wrathful Smite. That's that's all I got. I am also here with Cody Schwabity. This time. Yeah, you're not last this time. Um, and I'm also here with Daniel Green, the shark. I just tried Logan Paul's drink, Prime. Uh, it tastes like straight booty juice. I thought it was KSI's drink. So pretty good, right? No, it's he also... Logan it's, Paul has Prime. Yeah. It's, the, it's, 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 it's both of them, good. isn't it? It's the two of them. They also, I'm trying not to read the fact that it doesn't say sports drink. It says hydration drink. I think literally every, <laughs> every drink, drink is, is not hydrate. poison. Is hydrate. Well, alcohol, <laughs> alcohol doesn't hydrate too well. Oh, fair. coffee is a yeah. diuretic. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's I'm like drinking it's, that right now. I, it, it feels like oh, yeah. stating it's like a vegan apple. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate when they do that. That I saw gluten-free beef jerky the other day, and I was like, "No shit!" Like, what? <laughs> hey, you gotta market. You gotta advertise. You know what? I feel like it's not even the company being stupid. It's that the customers are like, "Are there any gluten in this?" Enough times they're like, "Just fucking throw it on the package." I believe that. Agree. I worked Completely at a store agree. where everything was a dollar, and I still got asked thirty times a day that is everything. What's the price of this? Is this a dollar? Is this a dollar? I would do that. I just want to make sure. Yeah, just want to make sure. Uh, because a lot of times it isn't. <laughs> um, anyway, we're here. We're it's episode twenty-four. We're we're mm -hmm. gaming. Uh, do you guys remember what happened last time? We won oh, at the we... racetrack. I remember we that. We won at the racetrack. We spent two episodes preparing for the trip to the scorched lands. Um, yeah. The... We've got our gas masks now. Oh, and I said mm -hmm. this episode would cut immediately to a couple days later. You guys yeah. have got your suits made by the factory and the gas mm -hmm. masks from Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. uh, Jesus is the only character that anyone's ever doubted the validity of, which I find <laughs> very funny. <laughs> um, anyway, everyone, <laughs> everyone's got their gas mask. And their 
um, heat resistant suits. Um, mm -hmm. I hope you guys will have your your glasses uh, for this episode. Uh, oh shit! I yeah. supposed to have? I have an actual gas mask. I had two weeks to look for it. I did not look for it. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's fair. Um, and I guess you guys are ready to venture into the Scorchlands. Is there any last minute things you want to do before you venture forth? I don't oh, think so. I would love to we find need. a snake woman, but I, I doubt she'd be in this climate. Says Jose. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we'll find one in the maybe in the Scorchlands, Norman. Maybe a dragon woman. May, there the could be land. some reptile humanoids yeah. in the in yeah. the Scorchlands. Like maybe not a snake woman, but maybe some kind of like Gila monster woman or of some type. Maybe I don't know. All right, All right now yeah. I'm fired up, boys. Ah, okay, okay, I get it. Little feathers there as well. She's got her own equipment. Um, and you guys venture forth south of Stagfirth, ready to go uh, steal right. some money. Okay. I hate, I hate chat. Like, I love chat so much. I know. I, I can't have it open in the episode. It makes me laugh too much. Yeah. Like, look, look I'm so glad that the, the chat isn't on the YouTube video because the amount of times the word Hitler has been said <laughs> in chat in the opening 10 minutes is insane. <laughs> I just, I one just like, Hit, Hitler much, snake right? girl, Hitler snake girl. And I yeah. can't help but picture like a little cute girl and we like, we say, what's your name? And they say Hitler. If, if you oh. want Hitler to be isekai, just go watch Drifters. There you go. They tackle that plot thread there. We don't need to tackle it here. Just um, so good. I need to keep it's on watching. So good. I so, wish for season two. Okay. I, don't, I don't think I don't think there's anything else for us to do before we set off, but I do just want to point out Little Feather obviously didn't get a gas mask, so she won't be joining us. Okay. Shall we... Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> she did not get Actually, a gas mask, it's true. You, you only wait. had enough for you guys. So she goes yeah. I I will stay here and look after the company. Elk um, Favre doesn't have a gas mask either, but I, he's a spiritual elk. I yeah, think he'll I'm be sure alright. Yeah. Yeah. You summon Elk Favre and immediately he goes, Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out when we get there. Yeah. Okay. I, I want two things. One, someone asked in chat what this is. It's a head scratcher. It's the best feeling thing on the planet. Oh, uh, yeah, we used one. to sell those at Dollar Tree, actually. They were so cool. They're amazing. Two, uh, where's my baby? Yeah, oh, that's, gone. I mean... Oh, we still don't know. Yeah, we don't. You guys don't know. You, you've. Yeah. You need to. Someone, oh no! I'm, I'm interrogating. Who? I'm interrogating everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Cut. Three days later, you guys all get. You guys all get your gas masks and your suits on. The shark turns around, like, wait a second, motherfuckers. <laughs> Where is my baby? Where is my baby. You are a horrible father. Oh, but it's only that after only after Little Feather leaves as well, because Little Feather was the only one giving Shark issues for not caring about his baby. The moment yeah. she goes, the shark's like, all right, now I can care. <laughs> hey, I shot a guy in the knee over it. You did. You shoot a guy in the knee for like nothing, though. You, you, that's true yeah. too. You can't have that as your like uh, <laughs> measurement of how much you care about something, because you would shoot someone in the knee just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's unfair for me because, like, think of it this way. Let me let me put forward a logical debate for you. <laughs> if Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> killed someone to save a life, you would still be like, wow, he saved a life. Don't get me wrong, still a terrible person, still very much so willing to kill. But you can't take away the credit for killing someone to save a life. Can't believe you. I'm not wrong. No, 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 this is not <laughs> Jeffrey this is not a situation. No, 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 we are, we are not debating, we are not debating whether or not you try to find the location of your son. We're debating whether or not you shooting someone showcases your uh, ability to care about a subject. I would uh, say no. Yeah. If if Jeffrey Dahmer killed to save someone he loved, you would be like, "Wow, what a hero!" No, you, you would you would you would say <laughs> no. Okay, you would say, I, I would say he, he, you would say he saved someone he loved. A killing someone comes naturally to him. Also, <laughs> I I I want to I want to side side tangent here and say I do not look like Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, no, because, you don't. Maybe a little bit. No, no, no. I look, I look <laughs> no 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 no. I have a. <laughs> I have a friend that looks exactly like Jeffrey Dahmer, and you don't look like him, right. so you're good. I look like Evan Peters wearing glasses, but because Evan Peters plays Jeffrey Dahmer in the in the Netflix documentary, I get fucking tweets all the time from people saying that I look like Jeffrey Dahmer, which is just oh. not true. 
Oh, um, wait, that actor wasn't the real yeah, right. Jeffrey Dahmer? <laughs> they that resurrected the actual Jeffrey Dahmer just for that Netflix documentary. Oh, that's what Crazy. I assumed. All right. I, okay. Okay. Let's, let, <laughs> let's continue. This is a strange start to the episode. We, anyway, we're heading into the Scorchlands. Yes, to the Scorchlands. <laughs> All right. So you guys venture forth. You know, it's going to take like four or five days. So I don't know if you guys want to do anything en route. Um, if there's anything you guys want to talk about, if there's you guys any like fun little games that you guys want to play, fun uh, little <laughs> handshakes you want to oh. come up with. Uh, Norman, you're using a gun, right? I gave you that extra gun. Yeah. Uh, then how about I just do lessons, uh, lessons with shooting with you would be probably a good idea. Yeah. Um, I usually just use my magic through it, but I would love to actually learn how to shoot this thing. One thing I know is that Rustage will eventually take away your ability to use magic to fuck with you, and so I want to prepare for that. <laughs> <laughs> there, may, there may come a moment where I actually need to use these actual bullets. Mm -hmm. Okay, do I, can I... Am I able to shoot this weapon? <laughs> I don't think you're proficient in guns, but, but I think with extensive training over time by the shark, eventually you may be able to be proficient in guns. Cool. Can we make it so that he also is trained to aim for kneecaps? Sure. Well, you're the one teaching him, so yeah. that's just going to happen by default. Yeah, I thought that's yeah. where you're supposed to aim. Yeah, that's the good. He won't be able you're to hit a anything. Phenomenal else. student. He fucks it up and only aims at elbows. No, there, there will be people. <laughs> <laughs> if, if someone, if someone is standing behind like a <laughs> low so wall, stupid. if someone's standing behind a low wall and they're like the easiest target to hit, Norman will still not be able to hit them because their kneecaps are covered. <laughs> yep. Oh, I mean, he showed me the stance. Um, I aimed down. <laughs> Ricochet the bullet round until it hits the. Can, like, he's can, seeking I, can I roll something to see if I hit the, my my target to practice? Yeah. Like D twenty like, on how close it, or how far I am. Yeah, oh. just roll a D twenty. Sure. Okay. Five. Um, Terrible. So you're you're. You shoot at, like, I don't know, a bird in a tree, and instead you hear a ah! coming from really far away. Um, and, uh... I, uh, I think we should stop the training for today. <laughs> I sprained my wrist. <laughs> I, heard, I think I killed someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we hear someone in the distance scream, ow, my kneecap! <laughs> Specifically. Oh! I just got that repaired! <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you guys travel, uh, I'm sad that I'm the only one in like proper attire to go into these lands. Yeah, is that you what got, your, is that's this, what is that, that is. your proper okay. attire okay. for our mm -hmm. blind viewers? For our blind viewers, Norman <laughs> is currently got Joy Cons hanging around his neck, two sunglasses, a beanie, and he's wearing his headphones at a jaunty angle. Um, which might just be how he usually wears headphones. I haven't really noticed. Um, we are not. Um, I, 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 I mean, Daniel, for a blind viewers, Daniel Green has just changed his background to a <laughs> to a picture of me and Jeffrey Evan Peters playing Jeffrey Dahmer. Honestly, that's one of the pictures that makes me not look like uh, Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. That is a very not me looking like him picture. Um, oh, <laughs> I shit, mean, you're on the left. My bad. <laughs> oh right, shit. It's, yeah, you can. I can see it a little bit. <laughs> if you compare my real face. Now with the it, it's a bit more, but it's I still don't totally. I mean, I obviously we're different people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah with the way yeah, that you yeah, said that makes me feel like you aren't different people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously we're different. Obviously people. we're different people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, sure. I, it doesn't help that I'm wearing yellow. It, we are. You. <laughs> you feel things. Get, I assume you're wearing. Are you? You're gonna put on your suits as you get closer to it. Yeah, as soon as it starts, maybe yep. getting yeah. up in the uh, the 80s you can or the 30s, yeah. whatever Celsius. You start yeah. being able to see a volcano in the distance, like the, the, the sort of hints of a volcano, and uh, I assume you could just use it as an anchor point to travel. Towards oh boy! It. And as you guys start venturing deeper and deeper, you see like towns and places get more and more sparse, mm. until eventually the um the ground beneath you turns from grass to dirt to sort of rock barren rock to sort of um blackish molten rock and it starts to heat up 
Well, okay. this looks depressing. I mean, I'm riding on top of Elk Farb, so I don't really feel any yeah. of this. Elk Farb. Yeah. <laughs> Every time Elk Farb takes a step, he goes, ah, jeez. Oh, ah, oh, ah, e oh. <laughs> Tough it, Elk, Elk, Elk Farb. You know, we're in the fourth quarter. You can make it. Ah, oh, My God. Ah, oh, ah. Did you ever see a volcano, Cody? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Yeah, me and the missus went to Mount St. Helens when I was younger. Yeah. Crazy, crazy times. Wait, where is Mount St. Helens? It's in Washington State. It blew up in the 80s. Actually, I might have... Yeah, I, I remember when it blew up in the 80s. I was... Yep, I remember that. I thought you were about to say, actually, I had something to do with that. We left, a, we, well, we only, we left about a week before it blew up. So, actually, it was about to blow up, so a bunch of tourists went there to see it. And then it didn't blow up, so all the tourists left. And then it blew up anyway, like two months later. So old, told, old Tony was part of one of that group that, I see, that I saw see. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> you guys. Um, <laughs> you guys start venturing deeper now into the scorched lands. I assume you now have your suits and gas masks on. Um, Get it up, ready to go. As the heat starts to become yeah. sweltering, um, and venturing forth for a couple hours, you notice that there's these pools of magma bubbling up in between the black rocks um mm. and it seems relatively barren like there's nothing or anybody here uh though after a maybe a another couple hours of just wandering through this wasteland um you notice in the distance um a very uh familiar looking shape um it, it, it's it's shaped very much like the holy sites that you had seen previously. Oh shit! Um, All right then. Very similar to the one inside the cave. Very similar to the one inside the forest. And it's just standing there, but it's standing there, and surrounding it is a a ring of bubbling bubbling molten lava. Um. Hmm. Can we can we make out? Is there a symbol or something on it? Yeah. If you get a little bit closer, you, you would be able to. To see. Yeah, let me have a look. Let me peek. Let's see what we got here. So as you get closer, the symbol on it is a symbol of um, a uh, sword. Hmm. We don't like know anybody a... that uses a sword. Like a... Have we seen that on someone before? Yeah, it's the symbol on the shark's necklace. <gasps> oh, right. Oh, shit. Shark, oh, shit. shark, shark. That's we... you. We found your shit. Dude, walk across the lava. Yeah, how big is this lava lake? It's definitely not like you can't just step over it. <laughs> no, could no, no, an no, elk no. could an elk jump over it? Asking mm -hmm. for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's um, not like I, it's. I can make. I can make the shark fly, guys. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's probably easier. Let's just do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I will say, uh, I don't, the, the shark doesn't want to go places alone because he does work in a gang and he thinks going anywhere alone yeah. without a buddy. He's a big fan of the buddy system. Well, Wait, Cody remembers something. What does Cody remember? First of all, how big is this lava lake? Um, I'd say it's about maybe 10, 15 feet across, so it's not, it's not too, okay. it's not too oh, big. El El Elk Farm can jump over be, that, no problem. Would be relatively yeah. isolated if they were alone, right? Yeah. Because Cody's yeah. remembering that last time we activated like a shrine, like some some bad sort of guardian was in the area, right? There was the tree for my one. Uh, there was the ice dragon. Like like we've we've had bad guys be it around, is, immediate around it. So I'm, it I feel like the, each of them has just, some kind of guardian, some unofficial. Is it guardian. just the pillar, or is there anything like? There's not a giant stone golem right next to the pillar, right? Oh, that no looks really giant, evil and ominous. Giant yeah. stone boys, golem. Boys, boys, boys. I've played enough video games to know exactly what's going to happen in this scenario. We're going to cross the lava. The second we touch the pillar to activate it or try to do something and land over there. Something um, like a golem, lava golem is going to appear out of the lava. So let's be prepared for that. Oh God. I'm going to pick I, up I, a rock and throw it over the pool. We're going we're gonna to do a 3 2, two you, formation. Okay. You, you, you throw the rock over the pool and it sort of Ooh. lands. And then you sort of feel the ground rumble beneath you. What? you okay. Feel, oh, you hear, shit. You hear, All right. Ooh. All right. Ooh. And coming, Tony, what did you do? Coming out just, of the lava is a giant, uh, what looks like a giant axolotl. Uh, oh, but okay. its body is made of black coal and magma rock, and it seems like 
fire is spitting out of its skin and it's humongous as it looms above you guys and uh, takes two of its big hands. It's a Texalotl. Telexa. I get it. I don't know how to pronounce it. Telexa. Telexa. Wait, what are you trying? It's an axolotl. Lava axolotl. It's an axolotl. Are you trying to combine it with Texas? No, no. <laughs> it's an actual D and D monster called the Telexolotl. Oh, Telaxolotl. Telaxolotl. Telexolotl. It's a it's a Telexolotl. The Telaxcala tribe. Tlaxolotl. Okay, great. Tl that's a crazy. Tle Telexolotl. I don't even know how it's spelled. Hold on. You can Telexa see it. We've got a battle map now. Yeah, yeah. Now you now you guys are here. Um. Oh, here it is. Okay. I have fire abilities, okay. guys. <laughs> to like a lot I think it's all right. Like sure. All right. Anyway, well, it makes a horrifying noise, indescribable. I don't even know it? what one of these things would sound like, but I'm going to invent a noise, and it okay. sounds like. <laughs> As it That's a pretty good noise. Oh, are, are we intimidated by this noise? <laughs> I like that noise. <laughs> yes. Everyone oh, dies. <laughs> <laughs> Our heads just explode. My one weakness. <laughs> noise. <laughs> Immediately dies. No, okay. Uh, I, I guess as it as it spews froth from the lava, I will need everyone to roll a uh, initiative. Well, at least we're on this side and not on that side when this shit attacks us. Yeah, right. so. smart thing throwing the rock, guys, because uh, if we if if I I can only touch one of you guys at a time, and yeah. if we were separated, that would have been bad. Uh, everyone's gonna go before the Telexolotl because he rolled a one. Um, Boys, looking at my character sheet here, I think we'll have many attacks before he attacks us. <laughs> oh, good. That sounds lovely, Norman. Let's just right. uh, beat the shit out of this giant frogfish thing. <laughs> also, All right. also. Well, Tony um, doesn't know what an axolotl is. I, obviously, this uh, this creature is a, of a big threat, but so is the lava around us. So let's stay as far from the lava as possible. Yeah. We don't want to get knocked in and instantly die. Yeah. Okay. Cody. You begin as the creature spews forth from the lava, screeches. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh god, um, what is this thing? I'm really worried about turning an animal in this environment, obviously because we have the suit and stuff. Um, oh yeah, that too. <laughs> so instead of what I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'm going to stay as a human and be more of a spellcaster in this fight. Ooh. So I'm actually going to... Step a little bit back from the creature. Try and find an area that's, you know, yeah. a little far away from the lava. Nice, safe ground. Yep. Yes. So I'm using my wild shape, but to create a, uh, a spirit that assumes an animal form. Okay. We all know what Conjure Animals does. You seal Team animals. 6 into the lava. You create animals. <laughs> I'm, definitely, I'm not doing Seal Team 6 again. One beast, the chance rating two. Two beasts of one, uh, yeah, four of I'm half eight. I'm going to just quarter. try... Uh, two brown bears. Two brown bears. Two brown bears appear. They they are considered fae, so I'm gonna say they're kind of like spirit animals. So yeah. The heat doesn't really affect them all too much. Um, the two fae bears appear. Rawr, goes one. Rawr, goes the other. As <laughs> <laughs> they have some different personalities. Yeah. Uh, one of them kind of okay. just looks like a cardboard cut out of a bear. Um, and behind it is two little guys. <laughs> so they, they have their, their own initiative. Yes, um, I thought they go on you. They act, they act together, but they have their own initiative. Oh, sick. All right. And they just, go, they just act on my verbal commands. Uh, yeah. Do you have names for these bears? Uh, it's um, Dodi and Brody. Dodi and Brody <laughs> appear. Yeah. Um, I like Brody. I like Dodi. Um, Fuck you. <laughs> I say fuck you. We're gonna have we're gonna start like a actual faction war on Dodie yeah. and Brody. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, who's Team Brody, everybody? Come on, Team Brody. Who's Team Brody? Who's Team Dodie? Woo, give me Brody. Team, give me Team Dodie and Brody in chat. Um, or in the comments. Right. While you're looking for those tokens, could you also get an elk token? I'm gonna need that. Elk. Also get a shadow spawn token while you're at it. Yeah. 
<laughs> so we're just opening <laughs> shit. That's what we do Have now. Have you got any um, Velociraptor tokens? I just. Yeah. In case I need them later. Do you have my wife as a token? I'd like to see her yeah. something fierce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Summon <laughs> wife! Summon can wife! I, do you, can I, like, if I order my dessert now, can you just bring it out after the meal? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I don't think I have a bonus action, but I'm going to command these bears to sort of run around the backside of the Tlexolotl. When it's their turn, all, all right now. And when it's their turn. Okay, um, sweet. Yeah, uh, I don't think... Like shot of wild chirping, which I don't really want to do. Are in you this you suit. can summon them behind the Teluxolotl already. It's within sixty feet. Oh, it is. It? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to do that. I'm going to summon them behind him. So and two bears appear to behind the Teluxolotl. Rawr! Rawr! Uh, they. they <laughs> <laughs> uh, you decide which one's Brody, which one's Dodie. Um, oh, Tony, it is your turn. You see this Teluxolotl standing tall, standing fierce, as the two bears. Um, uh, flank him from behind. Oh, Tony, what do you want to do? Okay, um... I could get off of Elk Farb if you want me to, but would you allow me to attack this thing melee on my end while also having Elk Farb charge this thing while I'm on top of him? I'll do my stuff first, so I'm gonna okay. be like, Elk Farb, charge! Okay, you, know? you, you and Elk Farb charge towards your opponent, right. Okay, I'm gonna use Wrathful Smite on my first physical attack, so let's go with that. Mop Sword, two-handed. 11 probably does not hit. Well, you don't know. It does... Does it hit? It, he, you know, he's not wearing armor. It only has natural armor. Yeah, yeah it's not it's wearing just, armor. Maybe it has giant really No, skin, it, yeah. it doesn't hit. Sorry. Sorry okay. King. Uh, you have two attacks. Okay, but the next time I hit with the melee attack, so the yeah, raffle yeah, yeah, spike yeah. will still hit if yeah, I, if so I hit still, it. Okay. still goes. Ten! Yes. Shit. So you wow. Whoosh! 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 against his coal magma armor. It doesn't do anything. Um, elk... Do you want me to roll the, the, the fucking ram attack with Elk Farve? Uh, charge attack, yeah. Yeah, um, he takes an extra two, because you you charge in a straight line. Oh, wait, we um, have a, uh, yeah, we, we have, have an Elk. Charge. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, he crits! <laughs> that's, oh, not, wait, no. that's not a crit, that was one off a crit. Oh. But it was very, it was... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, I, it reset my chat, so it was like way up, and it was from an earlier crit I did in another episode, okay. but okay, 24, whatever. 24, yeah, that hits. Oh, okay. Tony's having like war flashbacks of past crits. Um, yeah, past crits, yeah. And you do an extra 2d6 damage on top of that if you want to roll the 2d6. Um, and then he must okay. succeed on a strength saving throw or be knocked prone. I think he, I think... I don't, I don't think he could be knocked prone. I don't prone. think he can be knocked prone. Uh, yeah. It doesn't say he that he He just gets can't. knocked on his back, just, he just like... I, I will still roll the strength save. I, I, I can knock him on his side, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just very big. He, he yeah, succeeds. so... All right. But yeah. he does take the extra damage as you uh, charge into the Telexolotl. Telexa, take that. Telexolotl, <laughs> yeah! Think. Go, there you go, Elkfarv. I am All Elkfarv, right. and my feet hurt really bad. This week on NFL News... Push past it! I'll do my best. <laughs> okay, Norman, you're up. Um, all right. Boys, I've been waiting a long time to use this new this new spell. Shadow oh, Spawn. There we go. Uh, rise! Shadow Spawn. I don't know how to actually do it. Rises from the I ground. Bet, I bet Norman feels like the fucking protagonist from solo leveling right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, 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 a Shadow Spawn. Um, I don't know how to represent the Shadow Spawn, but it's going to be represented by a fighter jet. Um, That's accurate. This, Let's go with that. I don't it know. takes the form of a spectral fighter jet. Yeah, it comes okay. forwards from the ground. Uh, I'm oh choosing my. the emotion Fury. Ah! <laughs> I'm so angry. I am. What? What's his name? I don't know why I'm making you name these things, but what's his name? Elgard. My name is Elgard, and I'm filled with rage and nothing else. That's a cool name. I hate everything, except for my master Norman, who I love very much. Oh, love you too. But oh. I am angry. Where do I direct this anger, Norman? I need to, I need an outlet for my anger before attack I do something that big reckless. Lava thing, Elgard. Use shadow attack. Is that, is that what I do? I don't know. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> What's the spell called? Sorry. Shadow Spawn. Shadow Spawn. He, they're pretty beefy. They're or they're pretty, pretty, they're pretty, oh, he, uh, you just create a shadow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and he just has all the stats of the shadow. Um, mm -hmm. 
We're about to become like a summoning party. You really yeah, just have are. bears, shadows, I'm waiting for elves. Old to learn a summoning spell now. <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, no, he does. He's Elf Prophet. Right. The yeah, shark's yeah. the I'm only one who can't. I'm waiting for the shark to be able to summon something. I we summon bullets. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> we just hang out on the sidelines and just let other shit take care of our battles for us. Yeah, you know? just like go. Okay, so it's yeah. a Fury Shadow Spawn. Uh, does it, I guess it has its own initiative, uh, like everything else. Yeah. So here comes the Shadow Spawn. Can we just make it have my hand? I like that this combat began with Rustage saying, there's not much on the turn order this time. <laughs> and then immediately yep. having to add things to the turn order. Does it... Uh, in combat... Two bears oh, it shares, your initiative. It shares your initiative attack, and it takes oh, its turn okay. immediately after yours. So, uh, it doesn't need to roll initiative. It is now its turn to attack, so you, you want it to do a... It has chilling hands. I just said hand. Shadow Ball, but... Oh, it has attacks? It okay. does have attacks. It has... Wait... These are different attacks. Shadow ball, shadow sneak. It's a shadow spirit, not a shadow. Yeah. Oh, that's just, that's not on roll 20. Ah, okay, okay. I, we, bad, we, we can... I can look it up on my... No, no, board. I have it. I have it. I just, it's just, I have to put it in manually. Um, spirit, shadow. Okay. Its attack is, it has, it makes a number of attacks equal to half the spell's level. We'd round it down, so only one attack. Um, it has either Chilling Hand, um, or Dreadful Scream, which you can do once a day to make something frightened of it. Um, we're going Chilling Hand, so 1d12 plus 3, plus spell mm. levels, cold damage. Ooh, cold. Yeah, Good, it's your be... spell attack modifier to hit, so roll your spell attack modifier, and then, it, and then the damage. So, 10. Uh, the Shadow Spawn reaches out with its grasping hand, and it just sort of floats aiml aimlessly by the Taluxolotl. Um, so... How do we keep missing this thing? It's, it's huge! huge! <laughs> but it's here now! It is here now, and now it's the bear's turns to attack. It's Brody! Okay, Shadow, Brody! It's okay, Shadow Boy, you'll get him next time. Should I, should I roll for them? Yeah, if you want you want the bears. Oh, shit. I've got the, they're just brown bears, right? They're just brown bears. We have all these okay. turns to hit it and deal all this damage, and we miss like every single. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. So they, they, get, they get two attacks: one with their bite and one with their claws. Um, so first Brody is going to attack. Okay, Brody comes bite. in. Crit and critically, there is huge, huge. All right, sixteen damage. Sixteen damage from Brody. Oh, 21. and he hits again. Twenty-one. That hits an extra eleven, 11 damage. damage. Twenty-seven damage altogether. Brody, yeah, huge. These fucking bears right. go crazy. It's Dodie's Dod turn. It, and Dodie's, Dodie's got Dodie. nothing. Dodie's right. got nothing. So team oh, shit. R eight from Dodie. Yeah, get sucked, Dodie. Yeah. Fourteen. Yeah. No, fourteen doesn't quite hit. So, oh, Brody! so, so team Brody be eaten. <laughs> team Brody. <laughs> Brody. Oh, Brody win. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Team Brody, <laughs> unparalleled. Yeah! Incredible. Well, the shark. It is now your turn. I'm gonna so, attack three times. With mm. with what? Tommy gun. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Cause you okay, <laughs> so okay, you have two attacks, right? Uh, if mm -hmm. you're using you can do the third bonus action attack if with using a weapon in your offhand, if you're doing two handed mm -hmm. attacks. Your Tommy gun mm -hmm. Tommy gun is a two handed weapon. You can make two attacks with Tommy gun, you can't make three attacks with it. No, I attack twice with the Tommy gun, and then I just hold it in my offhand and fire. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. You can. <laughs> I will say this, the shark. You can grip the Tommy hand as an improvised weapon and smack him oh. three times with it. Because that's your thing. Uh, but just use your bat at that point. But at that point, you can use any weapon. But 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 if you're, fire, if, if you're firing wait, a gun, it's wait. two times. He you got action surge, though. You do have action surge, so you can just fire the gun four times if you'd prefer to do that. Let's fire the gun four times. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Action okay. surge! I love so it. So you action surge, fire your gun four times. I bet every single one of these misses. They're all going to hit. They're all going to be four crits. What are Why the odds? Let's go. Why you that to me? That I is just, so hurtful. I just feel it. I just feel all four of <laughs> Daniel, I believe in you. They're going to be four crits here. Let's go. Rustage, I want an apology. Or to be able to fire with advantage. Like, oh, crit is like one in ten thousand. Exactly. Uh, oh. Uh, ah, one of them you hit. Got, you okay. got two more. You got two more. 
Okay, three of them hit. Oh, I wish you had advantage. Yeah, I wish you had advantage, but three of them hit. Um, 15, 20, and 18 all hit, so you're... Stop rolling! <laughs> Stop rolling! Keep going! Keep going! Keep rolling! Keep rolling! Keep rolling. Yeah! Yeah! He's firing! Um, four of those hits, so um, roll, roll the 15, the 20, and the 18 damage. Um, he awakened eight. the Tommy fruit. Eight. Please, please be another eight, please. Nine! Ah. Ah. Still, 14. you unload your Tommy gun into the beast. 25 damage. And, yeah, he takes 25 damage, thanks for the maths. Uh, can I say what the shark says after his yeah, massive go ahead. success? You can do whatever you want. Fuck you, lava cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I would make that the title That's if I could. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fudge you, lava. I, what's the guy. nice way of saying guy? All right. It is now the Telexolotl's turn. Oh god. As bullets fill him up. And I'm right mm, next to yummy. Him. You, yeah, so that's cool. not good for you, old Tony. I will say this. I'll tell you. I'll tell you this for free. You're fucked. I'll tell you what. Um, he is going to use pyroplasm. Oh wait, 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 no, no. wait a minute, Mister. Wait, wait, wait. Before he does that. Before he does that, the lava in his body seems to like go over some of the cracks in his wounds, and they start to um heal up a little bit. Now, oh. lis listen up, little fish lava thing. Would you like to want to have just a chat, man to man? <laughs> he screeches <laughs> at you. Um, he's going to use pyroclasm. So I need the bears. Pyroclasm. I need the Pyro. bears, the shadow spirit, and old Tony and Elk Fav to all make dexterity saving throws. Only oh. one human. Hold up! No, no, no! Hold up! No, no! Norman too. It's a thirty foot radius from his point. All right. So, now, wow. sorry, that yeah, also wow. hits the shark and Norman. So I okay. I'm the only one who backed yeah. up. Cody's the now, only one who backed I, up, so it doesn't hit him. I have, I have this. Okay. Uh, so, you, Norman, and the Shadow Spirit uh, get extra dexterity. bonuses to their dexterity saving throw, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, equal, equal to your charisma, charisma modifier, is... so plus two, plus two. So, Norman and Shadow Spirit. Oh, okay. plus, no, no, plus two, plus one. So, with a minimum of... No, no, Wait, with a, it's so a minimum there's... bonus of plus one. So, okay, if you so it's zero two, charisma, it's two, okay. it would be yeah, plus one. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, you, got, you, you guys are going to get plus two on top of this roll. Uh, but I need you all guys right. all to do a dexterity saving throw. Not the bears. Uh, oh, not right. the bears. Sorry, Dex they're not. They're not within range. The, the easy. The body of the creature spews forth like volcanoes. Holy Dex shit! Dex save it does a lot of for damage. me. It does. Tw uh, it does sixty-six <laughs> fire damage. Brody got a nat twenty on his death. Brody save. got a nat twenty on his. <laughs> Brody is Brody a god. Brody, Brody, yeah. That's a. Brody, Brody just takes just no damage. Uh, I, I don't care if half damage would kill Brody. Brody like somersaults away and takes no damage. Whilst, <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's gonna do sixty six plus sixty six. Oh, that's not good. For, that's six, not good for what? I know sixty six lava damage, fire damage, but also sixty six bludgeoning damage as the molten rock uh, barrels into. It's oh, just what Christ. This is this is so from the dead. book. Uh, Thirty nine damage. It's not even that good. Not a good one. Okay, uh, lot right. of two rolls. Gordy is gonna get knocked unconscious. Uh, All right. So is that? By that I mean died. He dies. Okay. okay so wait, Dodie. So so Brody backflips out of the way. Doesn't get hit at all. I'm just gonna say he takes some damage because it's because he got a crit, right? Yeah. And then <laughs> fucking Dodie, after not being able to do anything, just immolates in frames and goes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and Ow. burns up into a skeletal remains. And oh, he will be missed. He will be. Oh my goodness! All right, sorry. So did I get hit Team with a sixteen? Dodie, really? Um, you, yeah, you fail, so you take 39 damage, old oh, Tony. Oh, I am almost barely, I am right. barely holding on. Norman, did you Did I not fail? <gasps> I got 18. Norman got an 18. Oh, 18, I think you, I think. Plus, we get the plus you, three, right? Yeah, yeah, plus? you succeed. Um, uh, yeah, 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 Norman, you succeed. So, wait, wait, old oh, Tony, you got 16, I didn't, uh, sorry, I first thought your deck save was the four, old oh, Tony. Old oh, Tony, no, that's you, elk. you also succeed, so you take half of that. All right, Don't cool. worry, so you only take, like, what is that? Twenty. It's rounded up to so twenty damage. Uh, El 20 damage. The elk okay. farve dies. No, not elk farve. Uh, El elk farve just disintegrates below you, and he goes, <laughs> oh, "Elk farve, signing off. Another All painful right, death elk farve. from elk farve." <laughs> I will avenge you, <laughs> elk farve. At this point, <laughs> I was firing at the a lava. Distance, so I'm okay, right? Goodbye. No, no, no. You, 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 you are within a thirty foot radius. You did not back up from where you. So, 
you you are need to do a dexterity saving throw as well, King. We should have we should have backed up more. My bad. It's I have bad IGL. Cody was the only one who backed up. So you, sorry, the shark. You need to do your but dexterity saving throw. You do get a plus because of my aura protection. No, you're, he's not within ten feet of you. He's in with fifteen feet of you. Oh yeah. yeah. So it doesn't matter if even if, even if he had the plus, you rolled a nine. So sorry, the shark. You get I got a limp and a bad leg. You, you get dick. blasted <laughs> for thirty-nine <laughs> damage. Um, what about my sh shadow guy? I can't. I don't have. Uh, him. His, the dex modifier for the shadow spirit is uh, plus three. So just roll a d twenty plus three. Elgard, you got All this, right. brother. No, my bad. Elgard, you got this, brother. Uh, ah. Wait, hold up. Oh, Tony gives him plus two, right? That makes yeah. it 14. Oh no, and he also gets plus three. So he, he beats yeah. it, so he only takes half damage. Um, and that doesn't kill a Shadow Spirit. Shadow Spirit has um, Ooh, 35 my HP. My Shadow Spirit's better than so. my party. <laughs> <laughs> so so a Shadow Spirit's still here. Shadow Spirit gracefully dodges. Uh, and uh, wait. licking around it. So did he do any damage to uh, Norman, right? Yeah, Norman took like half 20. damage. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do Rebuke the Violent then. Um, oh, my okay. Reaction. Uh, immediately after an attack within 30 feet of you deals damage with with an attack. It, did, it wasn't an attack. Okay, okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. It has yeah, to be yeah. a physical, it has to be yeah, a melee. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, no, gotcha. it just has to be, when not, an attack is defined not a, by rolling. Not a saving throw, yeah, yeah, not a saving throw. Yeah, gotcha. I know, it's, a, it's an annoying part of the D&D &D rules, but. <laughs> um, All right. So, that's the Telexolotl's turn. As he uh, blew his load over everyone, it is now back to the oh, sure did. All right, I am gonna summon. I think even more shit. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna summon a lava fish. Spirit. Um, oh, hold up, Norman. You need to do a concert. Yes, I do. I have a dumb question. Yes. Why couldn't Cody just go? Okay, any animal I encounter, I can summon. Let's summon a Talaxolotl. He has a limit on the uh, creature it, rating of this. Um, uh, creature yeah, yeah. He's going to be so strong. Yeah, yeah. Can he summon a tiny Talaxolotl? I mean, it, that's up to DM discretion. It also honestly. has to be a beast, right? Is this Talaxolotl a beast? Mm -hmm. this thing's uh, pretty it doesn't have to be a beast for certain spells. Okay, Conjuring doesn't have to be a beast. Okay, fair enough. Just has to be an animal. It can't be a humanoid though, right? You can't just summon a guy. It can't be humanoid. No. <laughs> You can't just summon, like, you can't just give birth. <laughs> give life. Oh, no, sorry. Country Animals does have to be a beast. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I'm restricted to beasts. Mm -hmm. I think a Telexolotl is... A monstrosity? A monst yeah, or, you know, lava. You know. Yeah, the, the, the creature type lava. I, it might be wrong. <laughs> it might be a beast. I have to check. I don't think it'll be a beast. It'll be, like, yeah, like a monstrosity. Or something it's a monstrosity, like yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm using a... No, sorry, it's an spirit. elemental. It's an elemental. Oh, no, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, are you Did Norman's come save? Like yeah, seven? 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 13. It, well, 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 it's, it's, it's half. Yeah, 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 you're good. You had to be the tenant. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, so, healing spirit, I'm going to summon it and I'm going to place it. Now, I'm in two minds. Either the shark is on the lowest health, yeah. but old Tony is the closest to the creature. Just, we're gonna just double check that conjure animals is concentration. So if you do healing spirit, you'll bail with Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, the shark bugger. falls out. I don't Fuck. need health. Health needs me. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you walk into the to, to, to the hospital. <laughs> like you need me, guys. <laughs> the doctors need me. <laughs> Stop killing the patients. <laughs> <Damn>. What? <laughs> the, the shark is so cool. <laughs> um. Sorry, you can't healing spirits unless you want Brody Dang. to get out of here. It's so sad. I don't want Brody to get out it's of okay. here. It's okay, Brody can solo this work. thing, to be honest with you. Arr. Brody goes, In you guys get out of here. I've got this. <laughs> <laughs> he like flexes his muscles, fucking go uh, crazy. Oh, I believe him as well. Though, Ripper, thing. drain the lava. All of my fucking yeah. spells are concentration. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh. He's like deadlifting rock. He's deadlifting um, Dodie's dead body. Yeah! <laughs> I'm brave. Um, I'm unstoppable. I'm just going to. I don't have anything good against this thing. This is really tricky. Yeah. He is, he is a tricky All right, gonna I'm going to circle around the back and I'm going to run up to the shark and I'm going to cure wounds. All right. You run up to the back of the shark. The shark, you feel hands press lightly against your back. 
Ooh, yay, scratch. I like that. <laughs> you like it, you I'm going to test it stroke his at hand. level two. Just a character moment for the shark. His love language is physical touch. Oh, oh aw. Uh, 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 you heal 10. You heal that 10. was not that good. It was a terrible um. That was a really bad throw. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Um, uh, you, the shark, you hear, you, you feel the light touch of Cody caress your back. And you... Your wounds start to heal up. Have very soft hard. hands. He's got, just he's got soft fucking, hands. Like despite, I have like calluses, but it's it's fucking. Like, oh, okay. I don't know. What? <laughs> huh? What? What were you saying, the shark? Uh, just a lot of climaxing. It's fine. Oh damn! This, <laughs> this is the love triangle I didn't uh, expect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay uh, Cody, is that your turn, I assume? Uh, yeah. Alright. Oh, Tony. Alright, I was gonna try to use command, but it has to understand my language, and this thing hasn't really given off the indication that it knows what I'm talking about, so, um... <laughs> I've, I'm just no, gonna like swing my mop, which still has Raffle Smite powered up, because I have I have yet to actually hit with yep, it yet. Yep, go ahead. So, here we go. 24! That All hits. Right, that first one hits. Okay, so we're going to do... 12? 12, 12 slash uh, plus 1d6 psychic. Yeah. So that's just... And he's got to okay, do a, a lot. Two. Uh, wisdom stabbing throw every frighten of me until the, the spell ends, which is a minute. Mm. Yeah. I'm looking at his immunities. He's not immune to being frightened. So let's Wisdom go. can't be that high on this thing. No, and he, he is just a little... Uh, axolotl. Oh, he's got a, a big fart. lava. Oh, shit, I forgot. He had another ability I completely forgot about, but that will come around later. Um, whoops. He succeeds, I shoot. Yeah, it's, it's... So, it's okay. You did the extra one damage. You should be one proud One damage, of that. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. you, the black and then I sparks can... ignite around your broom. Is it a broom or a mop? It is a mop. Canonically, okay. it's ignite a mop. Ignite around right. your mop as you smack into the Thalexolotl. He screeches out. <laughs> um... And I go to swing around and hit him again. Okay. Oh! oh nice. And you critically hit him. Do the damage. Bro! 19 damage. Uh, how do you Huge. smack him? Huge. I just take the mop out like I'm mopping up a puddle of like lava, of lava. I guess. <laughs> you start like, oh! him. <laughs> yeah. I, I, should, I would argue if you do extra damage because it's a water based weapon. It's, no, no, because the mop is advantage against water-based enemies. We've already yeah. established. Oh. The mop itself is not wet in this moment. Um, yeah, the yeah. mop is dangerous if against the water the elemental. The yeah, <laughs> you if you get it wet first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it That's becomes not... an elemental weapon. <laughs> well, speaking of elemental, Norman, you're, unless old Tony, you want to do anything like move? Uh, I could try to. I mean, I can move like. If I move over here, he can't attack me, right? If you move backwards 10 feet, you mean... Uh, well, he gets an opportunity attack on you if you move away. You know what? Bring it! I got this! Okay. <laughs> you 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 step back about 10 feet, uh, yep. and he's going to uh, bite you as you leave. Does 24 hit? Yeah, that hits. Yeah. Um, All right. He does... He knocks you unconscious. I'm okay, I'm unconscious. <laughs> All right. Well, you, you that's what you get when you gamble sometimes, you, you kids. You take a step back, and he just... <laughs> but he's like, yeah, suck it, fuck! On you, and he fall down unconscious. Um, I, I guess that means you don't move, so you're still here. Um, yeah, Which is I very tried. important. Norman, your turn. I wish I had some spells that could heal Tony. No, you're all right. Uh, next next time I level up, hopefully I'll grab one. I don't know if wizards hmm. can get healing spells. Really? Yeah. yeah. Don't worry, gonna... I, I, I got the healing. I got it under control. What is the max amount of distance I can move back? 30 feet. Unless unless you really, unless you're not, you're, you want to use your actions to dash, then 60 feet. I think I'll do 30. Yep. That's, I a, that's a good idea. It. So you, you, you run back 30 feet out of range of Tiloxolotl's uh, eruptions. Because most um, of my spells are like 60 feet, to 120 yeah. anyway. Yeah, so you're good. I look at my shadow spawn and I say, you shadow ball, but the icy one. <laughs> you can you, you <laughs> can still use an action here. I, I, but And I will use one of, one of the spells I prepared today. Snowball swarm. Whoa, that'll, yeah, that'll do it. That's, that's good. Go ahead. Go ahead, king. 
Snowball Swarm is ass. Snowball. Do we know why there's an aircraft on the map? It's the shadow. It's a shadow. Swarm. It's. <laughs> it's a, a 3d6 cold damage on a failed save. Yeah. He's got to do a what kind of save? Failed save or half damage. <laughs> save what type of save? Dexterity Dex, save. Dex save. Okay. Or be frozen. It's it's in an it, an area of um, five feet, so you can just do it on on the Telexolotl. So the snowballs swarm from the sky like it's Christmas. Um, he does a dexterity saving throw to try and, I guess, get out of the way of these snowballs. And I, 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 I don't know if his Norman dex is very says, good. Sh Six. Snowball swarm rain over the frosted heavens on that Trexolato. Um, he's gonna take the full three d six um damage. So go ahead. Whew. Piece him up. Piece him up. Bam. Okay. Eleven damage as the cold sinks into his uh, magma body, and you see some of the um, embers on his uh, lava body fade out. And it is uh, now it's the shadow spawn turn. Boys, we're weakening it. Yeah. Why, why can't any of these cr cr scaly creatures, lava creatures, be hot? <laughs> this is so sad. Do a do a, a roll for the um for the shadow spawn now. Norman, a chilling uh, hand. Just, just, I just, need to just create a, a just do, for the, Just do chromatic orb. Chromatic, I'll do chromatic orb for yeah. now, but eventually I'll make one. Uh, and that okay, hits. Hit so the damage is one d twelve plus three. Um, okay. What? Plus three. <laughs> so you're yeah, four damage, four. but it is cold damage, and that also strikes into the Teluxolotl. <laughs> Shadow Spirit fucking sucks. <laughs> he's like, sorry guys, I, I know I'm underperforming. Uh, oh, he's angry. Ah, oh, I'm just so mad at myself. I can't believe I'm. Oh, I used Shadow. all my fury to. Oh. Shadow Spirit's no Brody. I'll tell you that. Oh, much. I just wish no. I was like that guy. And he points over to Brody. <laughs> Brody. He points at the bear. Yeah, Brody's like. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. If you keep this up next time, I won't choose you. Oh, please choose me. Wow. It's the only way I can no. live. I don't want to go I back there. Know. I don't want to go back to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> I'm so angry about it. <laughs> it's dark. It's dark <laughs> and it's cold and it's lonely. Oh my goodness. I've been there for too long, Nova. Don't send me back. The Shadow Realm's worse. It's just vaguely purple. It's it seems vaguely very, purple yeah. and I hate that color. <laughs> you're, you're, you're still better than your fear brother, though. But you're just your despair sister. She's coming next for sure. Oh, she's a bitch. Damn. I'm sorry. It's, 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 it's Brody the bear time. Let's go, Brody! Come All on! Right, I'm swinging for Brody. Come, Brody! All right. So he's going to make his two attacks again. Let's see him. Let's see him, Brody. Let's he's going to crit. Him. I bet he's just going to get two fucking crits in a row. Oh, don't hype him up too much. Yeah. Come on. He's, 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 oh, I'm hyping him up. I've been hyping him up since he got thing. here. Brody, Brody has... has right, he's, crit. he's only ever had Brody. three rolls, and two of them have been crits. He's two of them. All right, it's cool. It's cool. Look, I'm not putting any pressure on Brody here because he's already done Brody's so much. Brody's like, I just want guys, to fucking watch me. I'm gonna crit right, twice. Do what you need to do. Seven. Well, okay. Yeah, do the other one. Ah! Here we go. Here okay, we go. so the fight misses, and he's like, 11 oh, sorry. damage with the claw. I was just too busy Bears thinking about better. Doji, and that's what made me miss the first time. Um, but the second time, the claw slashes and hits for 11 damage. <laughs> but the second time, I got over it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the shark. It's now your move. I'm gonna shoot so many fucking bullets. Go ahead. You don't have action surge anymore, so you can only shoot it twice. You yeah, keep, you can only do it twice. You can, uh, stop you keep rolling. Going. <laughs> uh, first three were on accident, so it's only the last three that. It's not the first. It's the first two. <laughs> it's the first three. two. You hit once. You hit once. Uh, you hit with that. No, 20. if you notice, I hit. I hit a few times. There, no, so it's, it's the okay. First one. <laughs> First one, just roll one damage. Six damage, you fire a would, bullet. Would the shark not have a better time? No, the shark 100% would have a better time doing anything but firing this Tommy gun, but he doesn't do it. It's, yeah, that's. Um, he that's has bad. the uncommitted that's character. Okay. No, no I'm, not, I'm not criticizing Daniel Green. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, this is all like in. This is all in character. In character, Cody. <laughs> I'm completely. I'm like, I have my hands on your back, healing you, seeing you miss, and I'm like. Wouldn't you like, don't you want to like hit him with a bat or something? <laughs> Wait, can I do my offhanded attack now with my knife? Because I have a knife. I guess, I get, wait, no, I think you have, wait. Just fuck, 
two wet. Uh, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've let me bayonet with this shit before, no, so no, no, I feel no, no, like no. it. You, 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 I think I think this, the the specifies that the, the 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 way that it's um, worded is if you hit with a melee weapon attack on your main hand, you get to be able to hit with an offhand. But I, I just want to just want to double check. Um, you know, I, 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 it's important. All right, just to be safe, real quick. There we go. I, wait. <laughs> just to cover all this. Just more Tommy gun fire. Um, <laughs> He's just waving his gun around. He's oh. not even aiming anymore. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Um, where is it? Where the fuck is two weapon fighting? Uh, two weapon fighting. It has to be a melee weapon um, yep. in your main hand. Uh, to be able to okay. use your offhand for a melee weapon. So no, you can't do it. Okay. And because you're using two what? hands for your Tommy gun anyway. But, okay, so looking at my abilities here though, I do have second wind. Can I still apply that now or is it too late? You can do that now, yeah. That's your bonus action, you can do that. So you get 11 health back the shark. It is now the Alexa okay. Alexa Loddle's turn. Well, I'm not done. Move? I'm not done. What the fuck are you doing right now? You're right, are you moving? <laughs> I'm also, I'm gonna turn around and say to the party, Entertainment sure is expensive in this world, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna load. Uh, like a, I'm like currently a unconscious a, while you're making this a bullet in the chamber, so you just see an unspent bullet fly out as he as he cocks the gun for no fucking reason. <laughs> okay, all right, fine, yeah. fair enough. It's the Lexalotl turn. There was one thing about the Lexalotl I forgot to, forgot to say. Firstly, it does not regenerate hit points. Ooh, why did that happen? Okay, so he didn't get any hit points. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay. What's uh? It also has animal? a fire aura, and I forgot to do this last turn. At the start of each of its turns, each creature within ten feet just takes fire damage because they are well, within shit. the region of well, him. Well, and the shit. only person right. within ten feet of him is, or the shadow spawn firstly, but also. No, that's. We put snowballs on him. He can't be fire still. He's cooled down. That's he's true. like he's, he's, a, he's cooler. A, no, no, no. He, he's, he's fuck off rock now. He's cooled to rock now. Nah, it's fine. No, All right. Cooled how, down to a rock. How much space. fire damage, Rustage? Um, we're fighting Geo, dude. Now he, he yeah. take, Um, and also anyone that hits him with a melee attack also takes fire damage. I forgot to do as well. So okay, doesn't matter. Just keep that in mind Just for the pretend future. Pretend it happened. Pretend it. it I was knocked out only, anyway. The only yeah. person who hit him with a melee attack was old Tony and maybe Brody and. Uh, Brody did far, it three but times. we know what happened yeah, to him. Bro man. Yeah, Brody's probably dead from from that. <laughs> but nah, it's fine. He's, he's goated. Brody's goated, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, he's fire. He's a fireproof <laughs> bear. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't really. In my mind, Rustage, what I like to see here is that the Telexolotl just like got to this point where he's on super low health, surrounded by bad guys. He's like. Oh yeah, wait, I just remembered, and then sets on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, old Tony, so we're, it just we're counts fighting as one death save. You gotta train your dragon. Okay, uh, gotcha. Yeah. You're, you're just on one out of your... You just take yeah, damage, yeah, yeah. You, you, one death save. Um, and Shadow Spirit is also gonna take seven damage, but that doesn't kill him, but it gets him close. Um, oh boy. And... Uh, that's not even his turn. Is that even his, his turn? turn? That's just his, his shit, oh, yeah. God. Um, holy moly. <laughs> We're firstly gonna roll a d6, and we all know this what might this be the is. last episode for old Tony, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, thank <laughs> God for old Look, Tony. Look, I'm next. I, I, I can, I can. All right, the Telexolotl is gonna uh, walk over old Tony's body to. Oh God! To shark. <laughs> Just, oh! Yeah. Um, and now the Telexolotl is staring down the shark and Cody out of the out of the magma. <laughs> it screeches. Um, and uh, it, it, the shark's gonna say, wait, is, is, on he's you. walking away I from don't, I don't understand how dangerous this is. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's walking away from Brody, the bear who stood behind him. Is yes. Brody gonna get an opportunity attack? Go ahead. Brody All kills Texalado. Right. <laughs> he just crits him one. What's yeah. him? No, uh, for some reason I feel like this isn't gonna hit, but I'm going to roll. He's gonna try and attack with his claws. Whoosh. It hits. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Ooh, 11, 11 damage, damage. but it, also it Brody takes so 7 much damage. damage. He takes how much? 7. That's okay. Holy shit, I'm actually I think Brody has done the most damage to this creature. Oh, Probably, seriously. Yeah. He's done like, I think, 40 damage now? Uh, he's Brody, so yeah. Yeah. He's right here. Yeah, he has 34 hit points, so 7, he's fine. Alright, the shark. Um, you're about to be hit by a tail. 
Um, a tail sweeps round and hits you in the side. If it hits, of course, it might not hit. Um, yeah, I think that hits. It, that, that, that hits. Um, you're going to take... Uh, ooh, that's a decent amount of damage. That might just knock you unconscious, right? So He's good. You took 26 damage. You have 27 just health, so you get knocked to 1 <laughs> HP as it hits you into the side. Uh, blood bruising and oozing from your side. I guess you'd look up dramatically at him, I imagine. Um, you do need to do Some a motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. You do need to do a strength <laughs> save, the shark. Um, uh, Why? Because he's hit you with the tail. Oh, oh and you critically succeed the strength save, so you stand your yeah, ground. grabs the tail. Um, <laughs> I grab the tail, it hurts a lot, and you just oh. go... Oh. Uh, it would have done way less damage if I'd like let it tear me with the momentum, but I stubbornly stood in the way and took the full <laughs> impact. <laughs> he does also get a bite. Oh, okay. That will hit the shark and probably knock him unconscious. Oh, 12 plus 19. So, uh, you have this dramatic moment as the tail slams into your side and you, you stand firm. And then he just looks at you, reaches down, and just like bites a huge chunk out of you and you fall over unconscious wait oh. i have i need clarifying questions yes. and i have a scientific point to make Good. where does it bite me um uh wherever would knock you unconscious would not kill you <laughs> so like on the waist it's grabbing yeah, yeah, like yeah. on the side yeah sort of. i carry clips of ammunition right there and it has a fire <laughs> mouth rustage it just fired a bunch of bullets from heat in its mouth as it grabs onto my body would that not also hurt you yeah, it would fucking, be, but it would all probably, of the bullets we're both just about to take a lot of fucking damage. I'll be right. Like all, all of the bullets just shoot directly into your stomach and leave no exit. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, your clips are facing forward, so the bullets might shoot forward out of the clip. I don't know, but if you apply severe heat to a bullet, it's filled with gunpowder and it goes off. That's why you don't put bullets in an oven. Okay, I will say this: the Telexolotl does have immune to fire damage. Yeah, but it's bullets firing. I'm not saying the heat damage. I'm saying hunks of metal firing from inside of its gums. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We can do this. We can do this. Right, so yeah. firstly, fall unconscious to um, negative 31. Fucking yeah. <laughs> so, wait, yeah, negative. So minus 32, so I'm at negative 31. Yeah, this is important because... Wait, 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 wait. You're about to die out, right? <laughs> I agree. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I want to It's fine. <laughs> you will remember me. It's okay. I think the shark wants to die. This is the most badass. Like, this, this real is not. This this world is not real. It has to be from a single hit. It has to be single hit. So this doesn't apply. He's back to zero. It's okay. I was gonna say it's okay. I, I, but. But you might take Wait, death. Wait, whoa, whoa. Everything has to pause. Teching, why do you have a glowing, ominous red hallway? What? Oh, look over. Oh, that's a car. That's a curtain. That's, that's a curtain. curtain. <laughs> Bro, I thought you just had this like, Bro, Twin Peaks portal. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, yeah. The shot. <clears throat> yeah. I will, I will rule it as just the, the same explosion damage I do for any sort of explosive, which is 66 damage. Um, okay. Does that seem fair for everyone? The beast will take yeah. it, but so will you. Um, as as the bullet, and also you will be out of bullets, and therefore no yep. longer be able to use your Tommy gun. With That's thank fine. God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so the beast comps down on you with its huge magma mouth. The bullets all, I don't know, launch forwards in an explosion of shrapnel. Um, you've already been knocked unconscious, so this will, for you, count as a death save. Um, if it does more than a certain amount, it could kill him outright, but it, oh, it won't kill him no, outright. It, but it will kill the Telexolotl. Um, boom! So he was on top of me. The Telexolotl's head will explode <laughs> as bullets fly out of it. Wait, we have to do the math. You said there's technically an infinite amount of bullets in my clip, so how big of an explosion does an infinite amount of bullets make? <laughs> well, then you would just die too, then. And we're just like... <laughs> I love the idea of, like, it cuts out, you just see a nuclear bomb go off. It's <laughs> like the sun. We create the fucking sun. Just this oh, ongoing uh... fission reaction of infinite bullets exploding. 
the Telexolotl falls down to the ground. Okay. The shark, you have one death save. I actually, I've never had to do one of these, so what do you I... Just, uh, you, you, uh, you, you just keep track. You have one out of three. If you get to three, you die. Um, okay. Be careful, gamers. I sense a second phase coming. Roll a d20. He doesn't have to roll a d20. Yet. He, he's got one. He's got one. Oh, okay. This is because he all took right, damage right. whilst he was down. Um, okay. All right. You don't need to. You don't need to do this yet, the shark. Okay. Um, so, what about this? After about six seconds, as you guys stand there over the body, yeah. I'm unconscious. Um, <laughs> you guys. Will wait, get wait, if, if you're saying that there's a there's a break there's here, a, like a pause yeah, of about six seconds. We, Can you we run would, over we would, assume, like... we would assume the beast has been defeated. Yes, it yes, looks yes, like the beast has yes. been defeated, right? Yeah. I'm instantly running toward Tony to try and uh, bring him back right it's now so because funny. he Are went down. He went down like ten seconds ago. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just because he went down like twelve seconds ago and has been trodden on yes. by yeah. a giant creature. So I run across and I'm gonna get down and I'm just gonna use a Q wounds. Perfect. Okay. Um, to try and try and. Um, okay, so eight. yeah, old Tony comes back up with eight hit points. Eight hit points. I'm like, I have returned! Ah, oh, damn it, I'm still here! God! <laughs> Every time I get knocked out, I keep hoping I'm gonna wake up in a hospital bed with my wife next to me or something. Oh. Yeah, All right, we sorry, killed it. So we, we killed it, though. Thanks, Cody. I appreciate Looks like it. Appreciate it. All right. Um. I'll be, I'll be like getting up to walk back over to the shark when whatever happens happens. So as it sort of after six seconds as it goes round to its turn again, you notice it regenerates parts of its body from the magma and the lava, and is now back oh on ten HP. Oh what the fuck! Um, All right, well it's I blew its fucking head off. <laughs> it it just, regenerates its head. It just doesn't have a head, I guess. Um, so it's clearly not a living. It's thing. Like an it doesn't have a organs. creature. Yeah, so yeah. this headless beast, it. I mean, I. Norman, the shark, etc. I will give you not. The, the shark has to do a death save because it, it goes through six seconds before that. So can you do? I'm gonna take that twelve as your death save. And Norman, you can do whatever you want, but with bear in mind that at, at this point you think that the creature is dead. So I assume you're not gonna do. Norman anything. called second phase. He's a gamer. Yeah, so he's. He did. There. He did actually say he that. He did actually say second phase. <laughs> I think um, Norman's days yeah. were using it. He warned his crew with the, uh, his squad, but they did nothing. <laughs> All right. So are you going to ready an I'm action? Is that what you're going to say? I'm just. I'm just ready an action. Oh, what are you ready? Oh, um, snowball. And you're going to ready it for for what conditions? What do you mean? That that he comes back. That is a second phase. Yeah, that there is a second phase. Okay. Wall above him. So he comes back, and as you see his body move and shamble, and the the lava sort of come back into his body and, and fuel him with renewed life, then the snowballs fly out of the sky, and he's got to do a dexterity saving throw, right? Dexterity saving throw. All right, dex save. Um. He's not very good at, but he succeeds this time. That succeeds. So do your damage. He does take half. He can still kill him. He only has 10 HP. So if you roll 20 here, which is statistically impossible, um, he takes two damage. Nice. Um, but importantly, it is cold damage. And now it is his turn. So we are going to roll the D6. And this is this is maybe the D6, <laughs> the most important D6 I may. Ever uh, roll. Yeah, this could. I don't think. Uh... Well, for clarity, the D6 is who he's targeting. It's not who he's targeting. The D6 oh, is the not. recharge okay. of his pyroclasm ability. Oh, oh If it's a five shit. or a six, the ability recharges and he will right. use it. And right. that has the potential <laughs> to kill the shark. <laughs> Too. I think you might be able not to kill, kill me the shark, too. but and knock old... out like, all the rest of us. It, would, it has the potential to knock out Cody, but it has the potential of killing old Tony and the shark. Oh wow! Shit! Oh okay. shit! Okay. So, oh, God, you're this is it. fucking nuts. Oh, All goodness. right, just keep in mind, I have this. Okay. Don't. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You that, must be that, conscious. That, that only affects. Oh shit! That only affects me and Cody though. Yeah, because yeah, because the shark automatically fails the saving throw because he's unconscious. 
Yeah, well, no, and also he's out of range. Well, yeah, that right. he was. And, and just to clarify okay. for people, this isn't some bullshit thing I came up with. The Telexolotl, at the start of its round, if it's at zero hit points, it regenerates uh, 10 hit points and it comes back unless okay. a certain prerequisite is met in the previous round, which it wasn't that round. Um, okay. Uh, so, so dexterity oh, saving throw then. Friend. <laughs> so we'll do the damage. Bear in mind, it, it, this damage to kill the shark, it needs to do 56 damage. He has a lot of. Well, I'm already at negative 31. You're not at negative 31. You're back at zero. Every, no, You're, back at zero. Zero. You're back at zero. Every oh. It needs to take 56 damage. It will give him one death if, fail, which means if. Yeah, if I take 50, 51. then. One. Okay. Wait, well, if no, I fail this deck save. You've got to do. Wait, 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 you're at eight health, right? I'm at eight, so 50 could kill me. So if I don't succeed this deck save, this is an Tony's just Tony fucking dead. Oh, Tony dies? This is just, okay, no, not yet. No, I have yes. to succeed the deck save. Oh, no. Okay. Succeed. Is this an old Tony death? <laughs> I'm coming home, Becky. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wait. This might be it. You've got to do it. Okay. What is the DC? What is the DC? What's the DC? What's the DC? What's the DC? I'll tell you the DC. It's not, yeah. it's not terribly high. The DC okay. is 15. You only need to get higher than a 15 to survive. <laughs> I'm fucked! Oh, I'm so... Come on, You've got to roll a 15. Uh, a dexterity save. Oh. You have plus two on this roll on top of your already thing. Yeah, I have plus protection. two because I have aura of protection. Ignore Daniel oh, Green. Daniel. No, 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 that's Daniel Green. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> not... That's <laughs> not... You hold this dexterity saving throw. That was so good. All right, all right. To add flavor oh, to this. God. Uh, old Tony looks up. What am I looking up at? What is this pyroclasm? What is this? The, it's an explosion of like mini volcanoes and the body of the flaming axolotl blazes right. out forth in a 30 foot radius. It's e enormous wave of magma rock and lava I, spewing I, forth towards I you. look up at this, uh, this magma coming at me. Cody's next to me, just brought me back, and I just have my life flash before my eyes. You and I fucking die. You plus two twelve. Holy sh! <laughs> you think about your wife and your face. He's got his headphones up. <laughs> the, the, wow. You see this blast wow. of fire and magma rock fly towards you. I have a you. flash, a flash of my whole life being raised, you know, by my dad, going hunting with my grandpa, and then going to college, meeting my wife, getting married, having our first child, having our second child, happy little family in the burbs of Omaha, and then just my head just gets fucking blown off. And... <laughs> his flaming corpse drops down to the ground. My mop snaps in half. And, um, I mean, he's just dead. Wow. He, he's already activated his tower, so his, his necklace doesn't fly off. And you yeah. just see his smoldering body. Um, Cody, Cody, who had just gotten up from Old Tony about to leave to the shark, just, like, collapses to the ground next to him, seeing, like, the immense damage that this has done. He's just like, TONY! Um, oh wow. God, Visibly, you see tears running down his face. It was the closest thing I had to a dad. People do die when they are he killed. He's dead, man. People do die when they are killed. People die when they're killed. That tends I to do, happen. I have to ask, and this is very important. What happens to Tony's body? Well, is it, he still it's, it's mostly of, in one piece? I, I would say it's almost reduced to ash. No, this is Isekai. Does my <laughs> phone very survive? Good. Does your phone survive? <laughs> <laughs> Can you roll? <laughs> I hand my phone, like, my phone gets tossed to Cody. I, I think... Cody's I, last words. The love beast is real. real. Um, Tell my wife I love her, I Cody. I think it's reasonably, reasonable to assume when someone is killed by magma that their body yeah. would be almost disintegrated yeah, I mean, to, to ash. And... Yeah. Yeah. Then, then Cody, has, like, realizes over the just destroyed body of Tony in this magma that he is not going to be able to res him. Uh, is that it for the the the? I'm, the I'm dead as shit. Turn? That's his turn. So Cody is now your turn. Okay, Cody is gonna stand, and I've never used this spell before. Um, I'm gonna use Wither and Bloom because it sort of does two things at once here. Okay. Um, 
So just standing and holding my hand out to the Telexolotl, uh, it's sort of a j big radius of um, necrotic damage. Holy shit. It is gonna... It's gonna do a con save. Um, so this is a two-in-one spell, so the, the, the sphere also encapsulates the shark, but it's going to heal him. Which he fails, yeah. so do your 2d6 d damage. I rolled it at level 3. So, 3d6. 3d6. So, mm. oh, it's got to be an... Okay, so you are Eleven. going to there kill the Telexolotl <sighs> with this. Next and you Shark, go. you're going to get to roll one of your hit dice and regain that much plus... Um, four. How, are you good, how do you want to kill the Telexolotl? In character, this is, this, is, this is Cody standing up in sort of a blind rage. This is the first time he's used necrotic magic. Every other spell that he's cast so far has been a sort of life-affirming kind of themed uh, magic, and uh, this is the first time he's used a necrotic spell. Um, and he just wants this thing to die. It is the first time in a long time where he has wanted something to die. Um, so he's just gonna use his magic to and try it, and it crush sort of the life force out of this thing. him and drains the life out of the Telexolotl. It screeches. You see the embers dampened by the cold snowball swarm of Norman um, as his body crumbles down to a mass of shambling magma rock splintered across the wasteland, dropping bits and pieces of his body dramatically into the lava with singular plops uh, echoing throughout the plain. The shark wounds slightly get healed up you can see he's like maybe minor burn scars on his body but it is nowhere near the the calamity and the the unimaginable scene that befalls below your feet as um the combat is over but old, mm -hmm. old tony is gone i'm dead as shit cody is just collapses to his knees he's distraught Wow. Old Tony's max HP was 42, so... Uh, it was 42, and yes. He, and he so was on 8 HP. 51. 51 damage. 8 to 51 yeah. damage, which means... If I would have rolled anything higher, if I would have gotten a 13, I could have made it with yeah. the aura protection. And honestly, with the, with the damage roll as well, it, like that was a incredibly high damage roll. Yeah, the, that was it really did, like, high. 30 yeah. damage last time. Yeah. So, yeah. 51, wow. Yeah, it, like, he had 42 max health, he had 8 health remaining. That was like almost and perfect. And it did yeah. the like to the number perfect yeah. amount to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And he had 10 I HP total insane. when I attacked him. Last time I did 11. This time I did two. Yep. Right, wow. So you <laughs> yeah. yeah. You could have. Yeah, you could have killed it too. God. It was just shit luck. What a Tekken series of unfortunate Tekken events. kills another old man in D and D. <laughs> Nothing new. <laughs> Nothing new. In a parallel world, William right now is uh, walking through a space station, and he's just like, huh. I feel very vindicated right now for some reason. <laughs> okay. People were so mean in chat. They're like, why, Tony? It should have been William. <laughs> no, 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 I saw a lot of people saying it should have been Shark. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, and more importantly, I'm Elf still Farf. not totally out of the clear. Am oh, no, it's yeah, fine. No, you're you are, you are you got healed. Yeah. The, you, got, you sort of my, my got the life force yeah. from the Telexolotl. You, uh, you have to roll a, a, one of your hit dice. He did. He I did. I got two. two. Oh, you got two? Okay, so it's going to hit six. You, you're going to come back on six health. You got six health. Um. But Cody uh, is just on his knees, sobbing over the remains of my Tony. smoldering body. Uh, the shadow spawn probably despawns at this point, and so does yeah, and so uh, does Brody. so does Brody. Uh, but yeah, the shark. You wake up and you just see the smoldering ash pile that is the old Tony, and also to your right, you still see the um, the holy sight of the fighter god shining. Can I at least have like a JoJo moment where my soul ascends out and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look up at the sky. Yeah. And you see old Tony there my... smiling down like Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> so I, the, the, uh... the state of Tony's body, by the way, is important because I saw a lot of people in chat saying like, Cody can use Revivify. He can't because Revivify doesn't return things like limbs so being as it got, was so yeah. yeah he was exploded in magma so there wasn't much i can do unfortunately i uh i kneel down by my fallen comrade <sighs> and 
with tears in my eyes, I say, I've had a lot of gang members, a lot of friends, a lot of companions. Rarely have I met a man so willing in such a horrible situation to put their own worries aside to look out for those at his shoulder. This is a loss unlike anything I've felt as a man. And then I start taking the money from his wallet. Yeah, I was waiting where I was going to yeah, be. <laughs> uh, well, all... I know that old Tony definitely would have let him do this. So Cody's just like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's the highest I, honor I can think I, of. I, I have a wallet. I have a I, wallet. Yeah, you know? I think old Tony would have wanted this. Yeah. yeah. Well, wait, so did everything just, on my body just get burnt to, sh to shit? Honestly, so I'm just like a like smoldering... A of... Yeah. I'm doing this genuinely out of respect. That's I don't fine. take the money from his wallet. I take. I don't his have any wallet. money. I gave it all away a while ago. I don't have any money in that wallet. I have credit cards, but you wouldn't know what those are, and they also <laughs> don't work in this universe. Yeah. No, there's credit cards by 1940s. Seriously, they have you like, know that. yeah, you would knew, like have to do it. Yeah, but you know, from the 1940s. Yeah, I thought, I thought that the, was in uh, the 1920s. I thought, yeah, I thought that no, was the fifties. There also, credit cards as early as like the eighteen hundreds. Oh, I didn't wow. know that. I knew they had the the slidey thing, but I thought that was the fifties. Those were invented. Anyway, no, you're good. Um, um but I, I am keeping your wallet as a memento of you. I don't take the cash from it. I just put. Can your I? Wallet can I actually pick pocket. up Tony's phone? If yeah, it, can you can. roll to see if the phone survives? <laughs> like just. <laughs> It may, it may fall like out of my the pocket. Phone, it, the phone contains palladium, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Palladium protects it, the phone. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's have the phone, just because. Yeah. Some it, record it, of my existence. Okay. Yeah. All right. Damn. Palladium protects the phone. You Who get my try. Damn. Congratulations, Shark. Um, probably old Tony's son. <laughs> well, no. Here's the thing, teching actually. You can't be an isekai character anymore because they've all been isekai. So your new oh. character has to be someone from this world. All right, I which can will figure. Which be an we interesting could, we could, dynamic. We could brainstorm yeah, that and figure something it, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, oh, damn it! I no. wanted to play old Tony's son because I based old Tony off my dad. So, so his son was basically just, just you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would be playing myself as a no, no, no. Because I said Kyle is lying. canonically a lawyer, so I'd be Thank playing you. myself if I was a lawyer. Thank you, chat. Oh, hilarious. So um, well, we'll we'll figure something out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I want to. I don't. Honestly, this is pretty fucking monumental for Cody. Yeah. I I think he's gonna take a while to grieve here because yeah he old Tony was kind of like a new father figure for him in this world, which he was really excited about. Um, for those who don't know, Cody's dad died a while back, so he's like. This is really affecting him. Um, so he's just kind of going to be sat here not doing anything for a while. I don't know if anyone wants to join him or if or if the shark wants to try and make a move on the monument already. But um, No, uh, the shark is also going to pick up the body. And as long as no one uh, tries to interfere with him, you don't want to leave a body out to rot. And we're surrounded yeah. by lava, so I'm going to uh, gently lay old Tony's I was wondering where this lava. is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not, nice... I'm not trying to be disrespectful. No, I don't want to leave a rotting corpse, so I'm just going to lay it in yeah. the lava so you nicely hey, can look. Just... He's I'm like dead. Information, right? All right, I'm yeah. dead. So if you want to cremate me, that sounds like an appropriate thing to do. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, that's not me trying to make a joke as the shark. I just do that for you, and uh, I'll take your mop broke, right? Well, yes, yeah, it, it snapped in half. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take the handle without the actual mop top, and I'm taking that too. Okay. Canonically, okay. also, you have his wallet. In his wallet, coincidentally, old Tony had his last will and testament, and it said he wanted to be set to rest in a boiling lake of lava. <laughs> in a volcano. <laughs> in a volcano. <laughs> I don't know that, so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stumble nah, across that I one just, day. That's bullshit anyway. Can we, can we take the necklace off of his body? Um, that's a question. Uh, yeah, I think it doesn't so. Up into it the it sky, just right? doesn't have... Yeah. yeah. It doesn't seem to do anything right now, but it's, I feel like we should like keep that just in case. Yeah. Man, why is why is it always the the good ones that die? Yeah, do I have anything important on me? I just have a shield and my mop. Somebody could take my shield. A lot of your stuff burned off, like in, if you yeah, it got burnt to got burnt to crap. Um, not okay. that anybody would know, but uh, what's what's Palladium's reaction to this? Uh, maybe I'll do that as an end story. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> That'd be good actually. Put like old Tony's last thoughts. And Palladium talking to him. I yeah, want to hear that. that. Yeah, my last thoughts, or like you cut back to Omaha and like 
<laughs> yeah. Old, old Tony's wife is there, and she just has a moment where she's just like, huh. Right. Okay. <laughs> I think it goes out saying old Tony for the thumbnail. But, but, <laughs> oh, well, well, that thumbnail. kind of gives it away. Eddie, yeah. Yeah. No, just, just old Tony looking happy so that people are like, oh, old Tony. Old, cool. old Tony and his wife Becky is their wedding photo. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be so upset if you do some fucking in memoriam old Tony picture of him yeah. in his prime. I'll actually cry. Well, maybe not in the thumbnail, but you can do it at the end of the episode. In memory. <laughs> In memoriam. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, um, guess I could draw up my new character. Can I be a sexy snake lady in this one? <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. The show. Are, are you guys gonna I go to could. to your monument? I think after, after, after a little like while, a bio, like maybe even with long we've, rest. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a long rest in no, here. No, not in no. But like, no, can, no, we, can no, we we'll, can we work out a short rest here? You might be able to short rest here. Yeah. But, yeah, but then let's but just take off. Are you, are you going to, to go to the the the, the holy site first, or just going to short? Uh, that's like, up to the shark. The shark. Do you want? Can go? I tell everyone? Wait here. I'm going to do this myself. Yeah, you can. Sure. Yeah, okay, I'm going to just wait. I'm going to handle this. Yeah. And Norman, I just hold up my hand. Come on, you know what I'm saying. Give me the fucking gun back, you dick. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> it's my gun now. Okay, fine. I thought you were going to make him fly. I thought that was what the implication was. So he can get over. Oh, no, I'm just taking my gun back. <laughs> All right. You, you do need I to get... Him and he's able, he's a, I tap him and you, he's able okay. to fly. He's like, fuck this shot, flying. You, you can, a gun. You can, you, can, you can fly a little bit now so you can get over to the side. Okay. I also give him my gun. Get over there. So you fly on over and you land next to the uh, holy site and you're... you're necklace starts like reacting to it and slots itself into the holy site and suddenly obviously for everyone else this goes in an instant but for you there's a flash of light and then you're in a room uh, can i ask a dumb question when yeah. the necklace leaves my neck does it unclasp at the back no, 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 or go no. over it do it does not leave your neck when it does this you and the necklace oh so i have to like stand yeah, close and it like yeah, you, okay. you like make connection with it um and now you're in a smoky a smoky room it looks like and there's a man uh in a chair and he's facing like a window um, oh is there like a singer with a microphone and a sultry voice and a red spark <laughs> yeah, in the <laughs> distance yeah thing. yeah and, oh that's so awesome and the, and the chair turns round and he's quite a rotund man with a with a um very fancy little mustache and he goes hey see my my name is Frank the Fighter Fettuccini. <laughs> and he smoke takes a big puff on a cigar. <laughs> Good job at activating my tower. Ba bing, ba booey. <laughs> eh, what you talking about? <laughs> Al it's like Capone? Louie and Jimmy mixed together into one. It's me, oh. Frank the Fighter Fettuccini. <laughs> Al, why are you calling yourself Frank? I don't know who this Al Capone is, but I'm Frank. He does look very much like Al Capone. I am Frank the Fighter Fettuccini. All right, Al. Frank Fettuccini. What are we talking about here? here? What's, what, what's going on right now? I just went through some shit. I need straightforward answers. You activated How do my I get tower. Home? I am one of the. Better being one of the gods of this world. Okay, what can you give me? Well, as a thank you for activating my tower, I can give you, I can give you some, uh... <sighs> he blows out his smoke, and, uh, the smoke sort of envelops around you, and your, uh, batch that What's you... What's his breath smell like? Oh, like, it, it, like, pasta. <laughs> 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 um, it, it uh. envelops around you, and uh, the 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 bat <laughs> it would have been the bullets, but they're gone now. But the the bat that you're holding in your hand sort of <sighs> immolates in flame. There goes. I give you a little extra kick to your attacks. Wait, Brustage, I took Norman's gun. I have a gun again, so if you're going to do it to a gun, I still have a gun. No, it would, it would do it to the ammunition, but not the gun. I mean, I guess the gun... Oh, okay. 
But yeah, you, you now have a flaming bat. But you essentially, you, it's not that you have a flaming bat. You have the ability to immolate weapons in your hands. Um, uh, it's a sort of once a day thing. You can immolate. I just forgot why I was sad. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> uh, it's like oh. a, yeah, it's a sort of like a flame tongue kind of ability. It just adds an extra little bit of damage to the to that one attack um, that you use. Um, okay. I'm going to uh, pick up the mop handle, the broken mop handle, and see if I, that'll like work well if that lights in the fire too. Yeah, that def that would also light in the fire. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna spin it in my hand, walk over, and sit across from the god, and go. I think we can do great things together. Hey, your family now. What I appreciate th that. I'm gonna have to call you Al, though. I hope that's okay. Fine, as long as you keep calling me Fettuccini. That's my family name. Al Fettuccini, I can work. You're with an that. honorary Fettuccini so. now. <laughs> I feel like that's problematic, but I'm just gonna ignore that. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Listen, I am capable of doing a lot in this world, and I don't think I'm going to end up going home. I don't think anyone in my party really even wants to go home anymore. I think we're going to be here for a long, long, painful time. And in the end, if you work with me, I think I can bring us to higher highs. Well, because if I've been paying attention right, you and your gods can't come directly into the world that I'm walking in, can you? Not until you activate all the towers. So, if you want me to activate all the towers, I think you and I should have a really good friendship. That sounds good to me. <sighs> okay. So, you gave me a flaming weapon. That's a fantastic start. I also have a severe tobacco addiction, and I haven't been able to smoke since I got here. For the love of God, please tell me you can also give me some cigars and cigarettes so I can do some cool fucking poses. He pulls out a drawer, pulls out some cigars. This is my own, so good. My own special <laughs> make. Pu pu pushes it over. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold up the Tommy gun and go, what can you do for this? Ah, Tommy gun. He, he takes a smoke. Where'd your accent go? What the fuck, Fettuccine? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be in a bibbity bobbity to be like, all right, let's have a conversation yeah, here. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting serious now, my man. A Tommy okay. gun, huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. That was good. Really good. That was really wonderful. <laughs> but I got these cigars. Uh, I can take a look at it. Get back to you later. Now you're part of the Fettuccini family. And just how much power do you actually have in this world? My power's been waning, but once you activate all the towers, us gods, we'll be able to use our powers once again. And things will go back to the way they're supposed to be. The way they were hundreds your... of years ago before we were sealed away. Does your reach go beyond the gates of death? Gates of death, huh? That is not a question for me. That might be a question for one of the other gods. I just watched Rustage try to think of a name and stop. Yeah. I, I, I was gonna <laughs> say yeah, the name. I do have the it, name. I heard the first two letters of the name, guys. Okay. But <laughs> I just... It's a question for the other gods. I'm, I'm the fighter god, as you know. Uh, yeah. If you get, I will activate all your towers. I will do everything you need me to do, and I'll pledge my life to serving you in this world if you can promise me three things. One, you will continue to protect me and my party and watch over us whenever I call upon you in whatever message or way we are able to set up. Some people have these little light bricks. That's weird. Um, and two, once we activate the towers, you get me in touch with who I need to get in touch with to bring my friend back. I'll do the best that I can with the powers that I have. I can promise you that. If you want to talk to me, talk to me in the smoke. And then it sort of dissipates. <laughs> and you... That's really fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> and you're holding the cigar in your hand. <laughs> that's, that's dope. And Wait, is it just perpetually burning? Like, it's just a perpetual yeah. cigar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. And you're now standing. For everyone else, obviously, you just touch the holy site, and then immediately you've reappeared with a cigar in your hand. Um... And, you know, standy then now. 
Okay. Aww. I uh, I come back to the party and I say I can get we can get Tony back. We just need to finish the towers. Right. Got it. Yeah. We can get Tony Sounds back. Good. Oh. We get Tony back if we finish the towers. I made a deal. Okay. And I, yeah. I fully explain more honestly and openly yeah. than I've ever explained anything <laughs> in the party what happened. I don't lie about shit. I just tell them everything that happened. Cool. Perfect. Um so we know we know about your gut and stuff now then. Yeah. Frank yep. the first uh, I also Fettuccini. Can I do an uh perception real quick to uh, and then ask you a question? Me? Yeah, cuz well, I what, picked what, up on something there. Okay, well, well, okay, it's an insight. If you are you trying to pick on something Okay. What is insight, the question? Just roll insight. Yeah. Can I do I roll insight first or just ask? Ask the question. I'll I'll determine whether you need to roll insight for it. When he said they were locked away all that time ago, what was the vibe? Okay, that is an insight check. Roll your insight. Oh, Ooh. the vibe was he's obviously very annoyed that somebody sealed him away many, many years ago. Um, On a scale of sealing away Sauron to Galadriel, how bad does it seem? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! I've not seen Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Oh, fuck yeah, you, Rustin! God damn it! Don't worry, I'm gonna, right gonna make him watch it soon. The, it's gonna be the Demon King. Um, okay, on a scale of sealing away a sexy snake lady to an unattractive snake lady, how bad was it that this person was sealed away? <laughs> so that I know Rustin and Norman are completely on the same page. Okay, you, you can, I mean, you can deduce from the way that he is, uh, Obviously irritated and annoyed that he used to have quite a lot of power and now he has very little, if any. And it's not something that he's ever been used to before. Um, and you can't really determine, obviously, the reason why he was sealed away. Um, but you, you... Okay. You know, he's very I upset I didn't inherently pick up this is like a dark evil lord, though, or something like that. No, I mean, he, 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 he doesn't seem like a... He seems enti entirely neutral to your point of view, right? He just... He's, he's, okay. he's Frank Fettuccini. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, but the yeah. only thing I got wrong in recounting this, that I did just call him Al Gonzalez to everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, and I guess... On that sort of somber note... Uh... We do it to be continued. Wellington leaned back in his chair. He'd finally done it. After constant years of trial and error and endless study, he managed to create a, admittedly somewhat slapdash, replica of the god's necklaces. He was not a god himself, so this necklace didn't have the same abilities, he didn't draw on the ancient magical powers, but from something else. Technology. He stopped for a second before activating the necklace. He wanted to stop this, didn't he? The endless waste of human life. But this life was a curse, a burden, so he would do everything he can to protect the people he's still able to. He glanced sadly at the gravestones behind him. This is just one life, a necessary sacrifice. The hammer symbol on the necklace shone with brilliant light, and the artifact floated up into the air. A shimmering image formed around the necklace, and as the light died down, the figure of a man became clear. Wellington smiled, a weak but sympathetic smile. He knew how it felt. I'm sorry, friend, but I'm going to need your help. 